Welcome. Welcome to Carnegie Mellon University's orientation for the class of 2022 plus. We are so excited to have you here this morning. I read the letter. Oh my gosh. I think I started screaming. As soon as I read the word congratulations, I just stopped reading. My mom was with me and we were both cheering. It was just like a dream come true. For me personally, I wanted to study business, but with a more technological edge. I'm learning industry level skills. That's a head start. That's an advantage. My parents were with me on move-in day. I still miss them every day. And my brother, can't forget you. <laughs> they got to see where I was going and they could have faith and I was at a good place. Orientation week definitely helped a lot. Don't be afraid to explore. Ask questions. Meet as many people as you can. My best friends were from orientation week. I had to tell myself to just soak it all in. Just embrace the awkward. My best advice to you is go to an event as soon as you find one. Work hard, but also play hard. If you want to try something new, go for it. If that doesn't work out, then you know, try for something else. There's so many possibilities. Build hackathon. Fraternities and sororities. Be flat singers. Even the ballroom dance team if you're interested. Community service is a way for me to take a step back to look at what's going around me, not just at myself. What I really get my memories from are these extracurriculars and the friends that I've made. You're among the brightest people. We're all driven and we're all so passionate. There's just really a sense of cooperativeness. There are always people around who are going to support you. The faculty have always been there for me. I can go to them after class and just talk to them. Not even just about class, but about life. That's the culture of CMU. I'm an advocate. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a code breaker because I break all my code. If you're afraid of making mistakes, don't be. All of my successes come after failure. How you pick yourself up is what's really important. Seeing you has made me a completely different person. When I walk across campus, I feel like I'm at home. There's a lot of space here for creativity, for excitement. People are building, creating. Anything is possible. Don't be afraid to diverge from your path. Whatever you do, just give your all, no matter what the outcome might be. My heart is in the work. My heart is in the work. My heart is in the work. A very special thank you to Sung Jun Hong, Lauren Nazaro, and Jorge Alvarez for their great reflections. We hope the video gives you a sneak peek at life as a student and the exciting possibilities that await you here at CMU. It is now my pleasure to welcome all faculty, staff, current students, parents and families, and of course our new students in the class of 2022 plus. We hope the video gives you a sneak peek at the life of a student and the exciting possibilities that await, oh, sorry. A special welcome to our senior leadership and alumni board volunteers, to our new students. Let me be among the first to welcome you formally to your new school, your new campus, and what we hope will become your new home. Today's welcome program will give you the opportunity to hear from important members of university leadership, including President Farnam Jahanian and Vice President of Student Affairs, Gina Casalino. My name is Lily Marty, and I am one of the seven head orientation counselors who have been working hard to plan the orientation program for our new first year students. It is an honor to be up here representing the team. I know I speak for the entire orientation staff when I say we are so excited the first year students are finally here. We have crafted an exciting and intentional orientation program to help our entering students learn what it means to be a part of our community and to get you connected to campus resources and mentors. I can't wait for our first year students to learn more about this university that I love so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce Alex DeClaudio, the president of Carnegie Mellon University's Alumni Association. Alex holds an economics degree from Dietrich College and a master's of arts management from Heinz College. During his student days, he was in both Scotch and Soda and the Kilty Band. Alex currently serves as the president and CEO of High Up Enterprises, an international di digital media company. Prior, he has worked as an in independent entertainment producer with credits on Broadway, in television, and the popular web series, Pittsburgh Dad. Please join me in welcoming Alex DeCladio to the stage. Hello, class of 2022 plus. As Lily said, I have the distinct honor of serving as the president of the Carnegie Mellon Alumni Association. But don't worry, I'm not here to ask you for money. Not yet, anyway. Can I ask any alumni of Carnegie Mellon University who are here in the tent with us to please stand? If we can see them. Thank you, welcome. Thank you for being here to support the newest members of our community. All right, first years. 
On behalf of the over 110,000 Carnegie Mellon University alumni in over 145 countries, please let me be among the first to welcome you into the Tartan family. We are so proud to have you and your parents become members of our community of incredibly passionate and hardworking students, alumni, faculty, and staff. All of us all around the world will be supporting you and rooting for you as you embark on this exciting journey. I know it's been a very busy time for you as you prepared for your move to campus. As you get acclimated to life of a CMU student, I'd like you to keep a few things in mind. Your CMU experience has no limits. It's not just here on campus and in Pittsburgh, and it doesn't end after four years. This is only the beginning of what will be your lifelong relationship with the university. I hope you're able to cherish every moment of it as I have. Just as important with you, uh, as your relationship with CMU is the relationship that you will build starting this week with each other. The shared experience that you will have with the people here in this tent with you today will forge relationships that will hopefully last for the rest of your lives. I hope all of you take the opportunity to open yourself to the people who are here with you. I promise you'll learn just as much from them and they from you as you will in your classes. You're now part of the Carnegie Mellon Network, which includes Tony Award winners, Nobel Prize winners, problem solvers, entrepreneurs, founders, people who are impacting their communities and who are impacting the world. As you will no doubt hear quite a lot over the coming years, in the words of our founder, Andrew Carnegie, our hearts are in the work. And it is that work that will bond you together with the rest of the Tartan family. And speaking of work, it's no secret that you're going to be doing a lot of it here at CMU. When things get hard or feel overwhelming, I hope that all of you will make sure to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, ask for help when you need it, and don't forget to have some fun. Get involved in all the many activities on campus, which I promise you will find to be very fulfilling. On behalf of the Alumni Association Board and Carnegie Mellon graduates all over the world, I wish you the best of luck. We're looking forward to seeing all that the class of 2022 plus will accomplish now and in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Up next, it is an honor to introduce Carnegie Mellon University's 10th president, Dr. Farnam Jahanian. Dr. Jahanian began his presidency this past March by appointment of our board of trustees and with the enthusiastic support of the entire CMU community. He was previously the university's provost and chief academic officer and was instrumental in institutional and academic leadership, planning, and implementation. Known for his deep engagement with students and his dedication to improving their experience on campus, Dr. Jahanian has already had an enormous impact on CMU. He is a well-accomplished computer scientist, entrepreneur, and higher education leader, and has held several other academic and government leadership positions. Today, Dr. Jahanian and his wife, Tris, are proud CMU parents to a rising senior. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Carnegie Mellon University, Dr. Farnam Jahanian. Thank you, Lily, for your kind introduction and for your leadership throughout orientation. I also want to express my appreciation to Alex De Claudio for his thoughtful remarks. Alex, thank you for welcoming our incoming undergraduates as they begin their lifelong relationship with Carnegie Mellon. Parents and family members, on behalf of the entire Carnegie Mellon University community, I am thrilled to welcome you to CMU. Now to the class of 2022. Before I start, I have a question for you. Are you excited to be here? Oh, wow. Oh, we're going to have to try this again, I think. Okay, to the class of 2022 plus, are you excited to be here? Yeah. Much better, much better. First of all, congratulations on all of your achievements that have led you to this moment. 
You are among the brightest, most motivated, exceptionally gifted, and wonderfully independent members of your generation. What we all recognize that you have arrived here with a little help from your loved ones. Class of 2022, would you please join me in thanking your parents and loved ones for their support and encouragement. As you just heard, uh, my wife Tris and I are both CMU parents. I'm delighted that Tris is here. Tris, would you stand up, please? So you I'm also delighted that the very special supporter of the university, our chairman, Jim Rohr, he's the chair of Carnegie Mellon's Board of Trustees, was able to join us this morning. Jim, would you please stand to be recognized? Jim Rohr. <laughs> Students, Jim is my boss, so do me a favor and please laugh at my jokes. That's very good, thank you. Jim, thank you for everything that you do for the university and for our community. Thank you so much. Our provost and chief academic officer, Laurie Guingart, is also here this morning to welcome our incoming class. Laurie, would you please stand up and say hello to our students. <clears throat> I'm excited to introduce to you the university's exceptional team of academic and administrative leaders. Our deans are here, our vice provosts are here, so I'm gonna invite our deans, our vice provosts, and members of the executive management team. Would you please stand as a group and be recognized? Ladies and gentlemen, the leadership of the university. <laughs> but I'm not done. In addition, I would like to acknowledge our dedicated student affairs staff, including Associate Dean Julie Schultz and Ann Wichner, who are responsible for leading our amazing first year orientation. And of course, I would like to welcome and thank the many counselors, leaders, and resident assistants here to greet you, especially our seven head orientation counselors, Lily, Ann Jamis, Anna Jamison, Christy, Raghav, David, Julie, and Mason, would you please be recognized? You're going to get to know all of them, orientation counselors, the leaders, and, and resident assistants very well over the coming week. For many of you, today fulfills 18 years of preparation and dreams of spreading your wings. Students, you may be worrying a bit that your parents will call or text you every day to check on you. But I wouldn't be so sure. The anxiety you see in their eyes may really be a look of contemplation as they think about what they will turn your room into. <laughs> no worries. While they're busy turning your old rooms into man caves, or on Airbnb, you'll be doing something much cooler, getting a great education here at CMU. I am thrilled to be serving as president of this university as well as a member of our faculty. But most importantly, I'm proud to be a CMU parent. My daughter Sarah is about to start her senior year, but it feels only like yesterday that Tris and I were sitting right here where you are now, with a mixture of apprehension, worry, excitement, and maybe just a little jealousy. Having dropped off our children at college, I can say that nothing quite prepares you for when your kid says, no thanks mom and dad, I don't need you to stick around. So be gentle on your parents, okay? Trust me, your kid will be okay. Parents, you'll be okay too. You know, this is particularly a special class for Carnegie Mellon University. In fact, the class of 2022 represents a university milestone. 
Are you ready for this? We have had more students apply to be a member of the Carnegie Mellon class of 2022 than any other class in the history of university. We received a record-breaking 24,351 application, a remarkable 19% jump over last year. Every single college and school saw a significant increase in the number of applications. This rise in applications should make you all feel really good. It means we had to be more selective than ever before. So you can humble brag to your friends that it's never been harder to get into CMU than the year you applied. But students, you got this. You're here because we know you can succeed and we believe in you. Roughly 4,100 students were admitted with about 1,565 joining us today. By the way, just about half of your class are women. And more and more of the world's best students are choosing Carnegie Mellon over other top institutions they could have attended. In fact, about four out of 10 admitted students this year chose CMU um, to come. Let me tell you a little bit more about your class. The class of 2022 includes students from 45 states across this country. And 16% of you are international students from 30 nations from around the world. You are joining an exceptionally multicultural and multinational community here at CMU a true reflection of our interconnected world. Our 1,400 faculty come from 48 nations, and our 110,000 alum live and work in 130 countries around the globe. None of this is by chance. A diverse and inclusive community is the foundation for excellence in learning, research, creativity, and human development. It doesn't matter if you're from New Jersey or New Delhi. CMU is proud to welcome you into our community. Perhaps what makes CMU unique is the way in which we intertwine science, technology, and business with social science, with humanities, and the arts to create a rich interdisciplinary culture. Our innovative problem solving and relentless creativity delivers work that matters in robotics and machine learning, in artificial intelligence, in fine arts and design, in business and public policy, in international, in, in, in the natural and social sciences, in advanced manufacturing and engineering, and that's just scratching the surface. Some people recognize CMU as the birthplace of artificial intelligence. Others know us as the place where a student wrote the musical Pippin, which went on to become a Broadway sensation. Or for another generation, the place that produced much of the original cast of Hamilton. Today, CMU alumni, Today, CMU alumni, faculty, and yes, our students are tackling the hardest challenges facing society. Let me just show you a couple of examples of the kind of work we do here at CMU. You know what keeps us up at night? In 20 years, the Earth will have nearly 9 billion people and not enough food. So at Carnegie Mellon University, we're growing food in a whole new way. Using artificial intelligence, we analyze plants, improve sustainable growth, and get solutions to farmers. And thanks to a team of really smart robots, we keep the momentum growing. There's work to be done worldwide. We do the work that matters. This is the kind of collaborative work that sets Carnegie Mellon apart. Let me show you another example. The traffic lights are talking and the streetlights and cars have joined the conversation. 
They're figuring out how to move billions of people in the most efficient way. At Carnegie Mellon University, we create intersections that actually learn, so we all get home faster, safer, and with 20% fewer emissions. We're not just blowing smoke. There's work to be done worldwide. We do the work that matters. As you can see, we're helping to solve big societal challenges. Class of 2022, you're starting your college experience at a pivotal time for humanity. As our society undergoes a breathtaking pace of technological change, the future has never been more exciting and more open to new opportunities. This generation, your generation, will write this story of this century. You will advance human knowledge, drive our economy with your ideas, and shape our culture with your creativity. But as we come to understand the impact of emerging technologies on the future of work, it's clear that you can't just get the same kind of education that your parents received. Just consider for a moment. According to a recent study done by the Manpower Group, an estimated 65% of jobs that your generation will perform throughout your careers don't even exist today. If that scares you, it shouldn't. Why? Because you're here. With Carnegie Mellon's distinct strength at the intersection of technology and society, we will provide you with a strong foundation for decades of success in our knowledge-based economy. Our innovative approach to education will help you become architects of a constantly evolving future. It's not just our excellence in computation, data, and technology-enhanced learning that makes us leaders in 21st century education. At Carnegie Mellon, we're training our students in essential human skills that will only increase in value as automation pervades our world. Skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, communication, and of course, collaboration. And we also pioneered new interdisciplinary programs that meet the needs of society and the interests of today's students. Examples include the integrative design, art, and technology known as ID8, new offerings in neuroscience and in computational biology, as well as first of the kind program in behavioral economics and in artificial intelligence. We've made a number of critical investments in our infrastructure to support this vision for higher education. We just finished the construction of a 300,000 square foot building on our new David A. Tepper Quadrangle. The Tepper Quad will serve as the new home of our business school and a campus-wide hub for collaboration, innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. In addition to 24 state-of-the-art classrooms, it includes our Center for Technology Enhanced Learning and our Center, our Schwartz Center for Entrepreneurship. I see the Tepper Quad as the physical realization of a new model of higher education, a space that catalyzes connection, collaboration, and inspiration. We'll celebrate the building's grand opening on September 13th and 14th. I hope you'll have the opportunity to join us. On the other side of the campus, ANSYS Hall is under construction as the new 30,000 square foot hub of College of Engineering's undergraduate program. As part of our maker ecosystem, this facility will create and support resources for students to innovate at the cutting edge of advanced manufacturing, simulation, and material design. ANSYS Hall will work in conjunction with Scott Hall, the home of our NanoFab and the Scott Institute for Energy Innovation. We also began this last year investment to renovate and in, in innovate classrooms across campus. These renovations will enhance more than 3,500 seats across campus, embracing the future of learning with hands-on collaborative technology enhanced spaces. In addition to the world-class research and education that goes on here, we are deeply committed 
to enhancing the CMU experience for our students. Carnegie Mellon is more than a collection of classes, academic majors, and departments. We're a community dedicated to the personal and intellectual growth of our students. This commitment to a holistic CMU experience is a priority for all of us at the university. You'll hear more about this from Gina Casalino, our Dean of Students, a little bit later this morning, and of course throughout the entire orientation. Before I wrap up, first, a little advice for parents. As your sons and daughters evolve into fully formed men and women here at Carnegie Mellon, let your role evolve with them. At a certain point, you'll find out that instead of being the problem solver, it's much better to be an advisor who supports them as they solve problems for themselves. While you shouldn't probably call them every day, you should text them every day. <laughs> I do want to encourage you to stay engaged in your children's lives and with the university. There are many opportunities to volunteer or get involved through local alumni chapters or our parents' leadership program. There are also many opportunities to come back to our campus. In October, we celebrate Family Weekend and Homecoming Weekend. We also have our Carnival Weekend in April, which is a lot of fun. Now, the class of 2022. I have three practical pieces of advice for you. First, don't be afraid to venture outside your academic boundaries. CMU is known for producing innovative thinking at the edges and intersection of traditional disciplines. So step outside your comfort zone. Indulge in reading that's not required. Volunteer at a local school or an organization. By embracing a multitude of experiences, you will create a context for discovery and creativity beyond what you imagined was possible. Second, focus on the present. A wise person once said that one of life's ultimate luxuries is the power to choose how you spend your time. In college, you have that luxury. So make every experience a meaningful one and every interaction a learning opportunity. Third, and perhaps most importantly, treat yourself with care. These next four years or so will undoubtedly be some of the most transformative of your young lives. So take this journey slowly, thoughtfully, and with attention to mind, body, and spirit. Eat right, go for a run or a bike ride, trust your instincts, and be safe. Make time for yourself and lean on each other. This is one of the most profound ways in which we can act as a community and thrive as individuals. So to recap, venture widely, focus on the present, and take time to reflect and take care of yourselves and each other. If you remember anything from today's remarks, let it be this. You are not alone here. Class of 2022, if you can't already tell, we are so excited to have you here. So let me say it one more time. Class of 2022 plus, welcome to Carnegie Mellon University. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we have a little treat for you. At this time, I am thrilled to introduce this special performance from two exceptionally talented CMU students. Jacob Randall Holmes is a composer, songwriter, vocalist, and producer. He received his Master's of Music in Composition and is currently completing his Advanced Music Study Certificate, both from our School of Music. This morning, 
Jacob will perform a song from his original musical, Elevation, titled Aspen, Colorado. Jacob will be accompanied by vocalist Zach Herman, a musical theater and acting major in our School of Dra Drama. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Jacob and Zach. Jacob and Zach, come onto the stage. Thank you very much. Another round of applause to our talented School of Music alumnus, Jacob Randall Holmes, and School of Drama student Zach Herman. Thank you so much. Students, this is what you'll hear every day here at Carnegie Mellon. It's true. Good morning. My name is Gina Casolino, and I have the privilege of serving as Carnegie Mellon University's Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. I'm so pleased to join our speakers, President Jahanian, Lily, Alex, and so many more 
who are here to welcome the students and families to the university and to orientation for the class of 2022 plus. We have been preparing for your arrival for months and it is wonderful to have you join the community. While we're on rounds of applause, please join me, I know this one won't be hard, in a heartfelt thank you to the countless students, alumni, and staff who volunteered to help move you in to your house communities yesterday. There is not a family that I've spoken to over the course of the last 24 hours who has not said how amazing they all were. And there is no shortage of amazing here at CMU. You've witnessed that here on this stage with the talent from our College of Fine Arts programs and seeing that in our opening video featuring Sung, Estella, and Jorge, all members of the team who helped welcome you to campus yesterday.